Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I am with another plant from the Leguminaceae family and it is the last plant we will discuss from the Leguminaceae family. And the plant name is Glyceriza. The biological source of Glyceriza is Glyceriza glabra. And the family, as I have told you before, is Leguminaceae. Then we have synonyms, means common names we use to use are malatti, licorice root and sweet root. Then we have the part used in the pharmaceutical industry are generally used by the people or by the public. So peeled and unpeeled stolons and roots. Then comes geographical source means the origin or the regions in which we will find the glyceride glabra. China, Europe, India, Iraq, Japan. It is also present in uh, Turkey and United States. Then comes cultivation and collection and uh, the plant needs deep and well cultivated fertile soil in which the moisture must stand for a very long time. Okay, so moisture is the condition that must be fulfilled and sandy lands are usually preferred why because it will help the moisture to uh, to be to be retained in the soil and uh, what is the method of uh, uh, method of cultivation first of all seeds are soaked in the warm water for the 24 hours and then these soaked uh, seeds will be shifted into the greenhouse in the autumn season okay and in the late autumn season when we will get the seedling seedlings out of the seeds we, we will transplant the seedlings from the greenhouse from the greenhouse into the soil outside the uh, outside the greenhouse it uh, might happen in the late spring or in the late autumn okay it depends on the time as i have told as, as i have written before that uh, seeds are sown in spring or autumn so if we are going to sow the seeds in spring then in the late spring we will shift or we will transplant the seedling or if we are sowing the seeds in the autumn season then in the late autumn season we will transplant and after four years in the autumn or in the spring we will harvest the Plant. Harvest the glycerizer glabra. Then comes chemical constituents glycerine, glycerizine, and glycerinic acid. These two things are produced, and glycerinic acid undergoes hydrolysis to give glyceritic acid and glycerinic acid. And the structure of glyceritic acid, glycerinic acid, is this in front of you on the screen. Then comes uses. So it is used as sweetening agent in many of the pharmaceutical preparations because it contains many of the uh, many of the glucose rose type uh, sugars, okay, which provide the sweetening effect to the preparation in which it is used. And it also it is also used for the bronchial problems such as cough, cold, flu, bronchitis. And if the cough is productive, then it will also have help because it is also used as expectorant. What is expectorant? Expectorant uh, are do expectorants are those agents which will make the mucus thin and make uh, making it easy or facilitating the mucus to be or put them to be delivered outside. Okay, then comes. Uh, another property of it that it causes the water retention okay due uh, because it contains lot of water in, in it so increased water amount will increase the blood pressure and it is also used for uh, antimicrobial and the anti tuberculosis activity this is for today thank you very much